It is Memorial Day today and we are making something that we love. We are going to make elote or it's mm -hmm. also called Mexican street corn. Oh shucks. <laughs> also called elote en vaso, which that's the Spanish name for you it. You watch your mouth. <laughs> which is corn in a cup basically. We're going to make it plant-based and we're going to swap out the traditional mayonnaise for a vegan mayonnaise or a plant-based mm -hmm. mayonnaise. And it also calls for a Mexican crema. But we're going to swap that out for our version of a plant-based Mexican crema. We're going to show you guys how to make it, and it's going to taste great. It's going to get on the table quick, and you guys are going to love it. And we're also swapping out a cheese. We'll go over that later with you. We're going to swap out the cotija for our version mm -hmm. of a Mexican stylish cotija. So stay with us, and we'll show you how to get this on the table fast. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this corn right here and we are going to cut all the kernels off and it can be a real mess. Let me show you a quick pro tip. Take a small cup or a little vessel like this, got a bowl, put it down on the cutting board. You lay this on the ramekin and then we go ahead and cut it off with a serrated knife. And as you can see, when we cut, it doesn't go all over the place. And you don't have to take it outside. You can do it in here and it just all stays within the bowl, hopefully. Depends on how I do it. And this will give you a lot of corn without a lot of mess. All right, our first step is gonna to be to take our Miyoko's butter. This is a uh, plant-based butter. And we're just, first we're gonna turn on the stove. And take our Miyoko's plant-based butter and go right in. It's been on the counter a little bit, so it. It got a little warm and separated a little bit, but that's not a big deal. All right, and then what we're gonna do is let that melt down just a little bit. Put it on about medium high heat. Let that melt down a little bit. You're just trying to butter me up. That's it. <laughs> if you guys haven't tried Miyoko's butter, it is one of the best plant-based butters they have on the market, so. All right, our next step is gonna be to go in with our corn. So I'm just going to take my corn that Michael cut off of the cob. This was six ears of fresh corn from our local store. And it is beautiful. It's a prime season right now in the summer here in Houston. And we've got a lot of corn in the store, so we thought let's make some Mexican street corn. This would be so good. All right, so we're just going to let that come up to temp. I'm going to stir it around really well. Get that butter incorporated. All right, so what we're going to do now, get it down in the pan there. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna cover it with a lid and let it cook on medium high heat for about five minutes. And then we'll come back and stir it up and put the rest of the ingredients in. All right, this has been cooking for about five minutes now and we've left it covered. We haven't touched it. So we wanted to see if we could get some uh, color on the other side of that corn. I'm just gonna take it now and I'm gonna stir it up. Let's see what we have. Oh, how pretty. Oh, that is beautiful. That looks so good. And at this point, you know, if you wanted to, you could probably cover it and set it for another three or four minutes if you want to get more color on it. We're not going to do that today. We've done that several times, but today, just because we're cooking for you guys, we're just going to go ahead and move forward. All right, so I'm going to go in now. My next uh, addition is going to be a half cup of chopped red onions, finely chopped. Beautiful color in this dish, by the way. Just the color when it comes out is just so fabulous. All right, we're gonna go in with two garlic cloves that Michael minced up nice and fine for us. You could use three if your garlic cloves are small. Gonna go in with, these are two fresh jalapenos and Michael chopped them finely. He also removed the uh, seeds and the, what do you call that, the vein. So try to get some of that heat out of there. Just wanted to make it a little bit more palatable. This makes it more grassy. Yeah, and it makes it very grassy. That's my favorite part is the grassiness of the flavor. And then we're gonna go in finally with a half teaspoon of salt. And we're in Houston, so you saw that humidity hit that salt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm make a mess. Oh, I made a mess. Goodness, okay. What we're gonna do now is we're just gonna start mixing all this up together. Get it all nice and well incorporated. Especially that garlic, you want to make sure you get the garlic all through here. It smells so good in here. Oh it my does. goodness. Yeah. It's one of my favorite dishes of all time. And we're going to make it plant based. Which corn is plant based? Corn is plant based, but elote, typical elote, has 
mayonnaise and Mexican crema in it, and we're going to make a different version of that, our own version. All right, that looks like it's all nice and in there together. We're going to let that cook for just a few more minutes, kind of hang out there together and let it all marry together for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. So it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. I'm going to transfer this corn into this bowl, and then we're going to go from there. So I'm good at this. I've done it plenty of times before. Anything corny, I'm really good at it. Goodness, that's right. Just waiting on him to tell you the kernel joke. Well, you know. <laughs> now he's not going to do it. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, shucks. Mm. What's a corn's favorite salad? Cobb salad. Mm. All right, okay. Did you learn that in the army from your colonel? Uh, I did from my colonel. <laughs> he was a little chicken. He was Sanders. No, that didn't work, did he? No. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, and mm. the steam coming off that. That is beautiful. So pretty. All right, we will be right back with you guys. All right, our next step is, because this is plant-based, we've got to make, be, get a little bit creative. We're going to use a half cup of the Follow Your Heart plant-based mayonnaise. We've got it measured out already. So the traditional recipe calls for Mexican crema, which we, not, we don't use, we don't, it's, it's not plant-based, by using a quarter of a cup of Silk Heavy Whipping Cream, which I've already measured out. I'm just going to go into the container with that, okay? And I also measured out about a quarter of a cup of this Miyoko's cream cheese. And I'm going to go in here with this. Whoops, that was a good town. And so you're trying to recreate what a crema tastes like? Is that what it is? Basically, yeah, yeah. Just our version of it. And I'm going to go in also with a squeeze of these two limes just to give it that more authentic Mexican flavor. Just a couple of these. And then I'm going to take my handy whisk and I'm just going to mix all this up until it's very well incorporated. You're a whisk taker. <laughs> we just had this conversation on the last video. Whiskey business. <laughs> I know now it was I'm... corny. Oh, that it was. Okay, I have whipped this now for just a couple of minutes to get it fully incorporated. And I'm going to go in now with a half cup of the vegan or plant-based mayonnaise. Okay, I have the mayonnaise in here now, and I'm just going to mix it really well, get it fully incorporated, and then we'll bring the corn back over, and we'll finish this up. All right, so we have this mixed really well. I'm going to take just a little bit out to reserve for the top of the, of the, the corn when we present it. I'm going to take about three little spoons of this, just to keep on the side. Put that there. The next thing I'm going to do is take the corn that we've let cool for just a little while, about 10 minutes, I'm going to put it right into this creamy plant-based goodness. goodness. <laughs> and it is good. That lime in there just, just lifts the flavor. It's so good. So typical Mexican style corn, street corn, has cotija. But what we've done is we've taken some of this feta crumbles that we bought. The um, Follow Your Heart, these are so good. And what I did was I just I, ch I chopped them up a little bit. And I'm going to put most of this in here and I'm going to reserve a little bit for the topping. Same thing with my chopped cilantro. I have about a quarter cup of it. I'm just going to go in with most of it, but save just a little bit just to garnish the top with. So we're going to go in here and get this mixed up really well. It looks so good and it smells so good. And it's so good for you. You know, this is not going to hurt your heart. It's not going to hurt your arteries. It's not going to hurt any animals of any kind. So. And it tastes oh so good. All right, that is what it looks like. There's the end product. We're gonna we're gonna serve this up and do a taste test for you guys. We'll be right back. All right, I had this mixed up well. It's back in my serving bowl. I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it into my little plastic cup here because it is corn in a cup. Mm -hmm. Elote en vase. Corn or in cup. vase. I don't speak Spanish really well, so it could be en vase or en vase. Elote en vase. Then let's just leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to put this in the cup. Get it nice and full. Cannot wait to try this. It's been a minute since we've made this. And I'm excited about it. That is so pretty. It is. All right. We'll All right. call this a street cut name design. Let's not do that. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with you guys for the taste test. You want some street corn? <gasps> street corn! I don't think so. It's got jalapenos in it, but it looks good. Huh? Does it smell good? Does it smell good? Yeah. 
Does he smell mm. good? <laughs> Mm. Okay, we are back and we have the finished product here and does that look good or what? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to taste this. We have a full cornucopia of food. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I just took a little tahini and I sprinkled it on top just to give it kind of that, uh, mm -hmm. what, is, what is it, what's the flavor profile? Zine. Zine. It's just basically a lemon lime chili powder topping that we put on just to give it a little extra flavor. So now oh, it's time to taste it. You want to go first? I insist you go first. Oh goodness, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this looks so dang good. I just topped it with a little extra cotija, a little uh, mm -hmm. cilantro, that tahini, and it is wonderful. And the crema. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tell me all about it. <laughs> Woo! So one slap. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Tell me about it. Tell me what you think. The lime. The lime. The onion. The fresh jalapeno gives it just that grassy flavor. I love the grassy flavor the of a fresh jalapeno. It's so good. Mm. Crema. The crema is great. Who needs this is your main course. This is your main course, yeah. This yep. is wonderful. Yep, yep. You could make some corn or buy some corn tamales. Mm. Um, I don't know what else to put, but this mm. is, anything would go with this. This is so incredibly good. You guys have got oh, to try yes. this. And so easy to make. What did it take, like 30 minutes or so? I know. Yeah, so good. Try it again. Mm. It's just such a depth of flavor. I love it. Mm -hmm. And it's still warm. Mm. It's so good. Anyway, you guys need to make this. It is outstanding. Yes, you do. It is so good. Mm. We're so glad you guys joined us today. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us and uh, learning all about this Mexican street corn elote yes. en base. If I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Please don't beat me up. <laughs> and if you haven't yet joined our YouTube family, we'd love for mm -hmm. you to become part of our family. It's Living the Alleyway. And if you like this today, give it a big thumbs up. And be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell. <laughs> so you know every time we come out with a new recipe. We thank you guys for hanging out with us. We love each and every one of you. Yes. And we appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.